A pneumothorax is a collapsing lung. A tension pneumothorax, that's a collapsing lung with low blood pressure with hypotension. Let's say a bullet enters my chest on the right side. My right lung is affected. What's going to happen is his right lung has to collapse because it got pierced by a bullet. Air starts to accumulate, it gets released, I have to put pressure on my lung. It's not in the lungs anymore, it got pierced. So the air pressure builds up in my chest, builds up, builds up, builds up. And what's gonna happen over time is eventually other structures inside your chest are gonna get pressed by that pressure. That includes the heart, and the heart can start to fail as a pump. This makes tension pneumothorax a type of obstructive shock. Now hear me out here, we have a few things to talk about. With tension pneumothorax, it can be caused by blunt or penetrating trauma. I gave you an example of penetrating, but you can also be in a motor vehicle accident or a fall victim, and let's say you hit the steering wheel really hard with your chest, for example. That can cause pneumothorax. Remember, the tension word matches up with the hypotension. Pretty cool? Okay, now, moving on a few more players. The main signs and symptoms of tension pneumothorax are gonna be severe chest pain, difficulty breathing, increased respirations, right? So with that difficulty breathing, and we're gonna have an increase in the heart rate as well. The other thing you wanna look out for is obviously hypoxia, so your SpO2 is going to be low. JVD, anytime the heart fails the pump, we get JVD here in the neck, it could be either side of course. And then we also have trachea deviation. So if I have a bullet enter on this side and pressure moves over, trachea deviates where the pressure is pushing. Trachea deviation is a late, late sign.